Hey guys, welcome back to iSchool Connect channel. Uh, I'm Rebecca from Carnegie Mellon University. I'm a rising sophomore studying information systems. Like every other week, we are going to share you some really interesting content about studying abroad. And this week, I'm going to share you guys what courses did I take in freshman year. So let's get into it. <laughs> In the fall 2019 semester, I took in total six classes. The first class is definitely a computer science class. It's an introductory level computer science uh, using basically Python to teach us some basic data structure and uh, computer science history in general. So the main topic included integers, strings, loops, lists, and dictionaries. Uh, there will also be some background information about CS uh, history, CS development, and probably CS future. That'll be just um, really interesting content to intrigue more people uh, into future like computer science classes. As for the difficulty, I will rate it 4 out of 5 because personally I have never studied computer science before. And the second class I took is multivariate analysis. It's basically the second uh, calculus class. The description is about uh, matrices and linear systems of equations, uh, multivariate calculus and unconstrained optimization, constrained optimization and double integrals, probability and triple integrals. Um, well, reading the description might sound a little bit too overwhelmed to some of you guys, but it's definitely within the range because the professor explained those uh, topics and provide us really um, good uh, problem sets. So as long as we finish all of those homework um, carefully and listen to all of those review sessions, I think those uh, like midterms will definitely be a, like possible for you to get an A on. Uh, and I will rate it probably 3.5 out of 5. Um, there are in total 3 midterms. Uh, they are not necessarily accumulative, but it's def definitely um, better if you can still reveal some content in the previous semesters. And as for the final, it's definitely accumulative and it's a little bit harder and the weighting is about 25% of your final grade. The third class is an introduction um, to behavioral economics. The class code is 88120. Uh, and the name of the class is Reason, Passion, Cognition. The description included some illustration about personal emotions and how people make decisions and prospects theory. Maybe it sounds a little bit uh, philosophical and theoretical, but there are definitely a lot of uh, graphs that require you to draw in the exams. And we have in total four exams included the final. Each of them has the same weighting. Uh, if you can get an A before taking the final, you can definitely skip it. So I really like this policy because you then can save more time to study for other subjects final. And as for the difficulty, I will give it 3 out of 5 because even though there will be some difficulty, um, if you haven't have any knowledge in this field but I think a lot of the concepts and lots of the graphs are really intuitive and if you attend those reveal session carefully you'll definitely uh, get an A at the end. Um, another class I took is the principles of economics because at first I really want to pursue uh, the major in behavioral econ so I just took it even though I've already took IB and got a 7 in my final exam, but I still cannot skip this class if I want to major in, in this field. Um, well, if for those people who are majoring in probably business, engineer, or computer science, uh, it's probably also a general education requirement for them to fulfill. It's definitely an easier option for you to choose. As for the description, it's about price elasticity of demand, market failure, theory of firm, and trade. Um, in total, I think I just spent about two to three hours per, uh, like, per week 
so the workload is definitely the lowest for me during that entire semester and the difficulty I will rate it 2 out of 5. Um, the last semester long class I took is Global History. The class code is 79104. And as for the description, it's about the discovery of the new world, World War II, and what Germany and Japan had done during that period of time. Uh, and Rwanda genocide. The topic is on uh, genocide and weapon of mass destruction. So uh, we are required to read a lot of those historical uh, content and some um, memorial. Uh, basically, the TA is responsible for grading uh, your entire semester. Uh, your grade has nothing to do with the professor, so you definitely need to uh, answer more questions and participate more so that the TA can recognize you when they are giving you participation grade. And the difficulty, I will rate it 4 out of 5. Um, well, the content itself is not really hard, but essay is definitely take time consuming. And the last class I took is a mini one. It's called Computing at CMU. It's a required class for every single CMU student. And the description is about basic computing knowledge that are helpful and necessary to live on CMU campus. Uh, some of the some of my friends took this class during the uh, summer and I think that's definitely a smart, smarter choice because you do not have to uh, read as much materials as we do and there is no participation grade included um, so you can probably just finish the entire course in just two days. Uh, moving on to my second semester, Spring 2020, and the first class I took is Reasoning with Data. Um, as for the description, I think it's just some basic understanding of statistics in general. Um, well, the difficulty is about 2 out of 3, oh, 2 out of 5, sorry. Um, there will be a lab per week. So basically, the TA will help you to do all of those problem sets on a um, platform called uh, ISO. It's a software created by some CMU statistics professor and it's really great. You will also use it to do your projects as well, to build some models and some graphs. And the next class is actually the most difficult class that I've ever took in CMU history. Um, it's called Fundamentals of Pro Programming and Computer Science. The class code is 15112. Well, that's a really famous class in uh, CMU because uh, some of the students might have no background in computer science. Uh, and after taking this class, we'll have a solid understanding in coding. And um, the professor keeps saying that this class will help you to get a job. That's pretty much true because we are required to finish a term project at the very end and um, it will take about five weeks for us to finish and TA and professor will help us along the way via piazza or in person off, uh, office hour as well. Um, as for the description of this entire class, it's still using Python and there is a huge overlap between this class and the 15110 the class I took the previous semester. If you do not have any background information, you might still like spend a huge amount of time uh, studying some basic concepts like functions, like dictionary and sets. Um, yeah, the difficulty is about 4.5 out of 5, I would say. Uh, we have a quiz and a writing session per week. As for the quiz, uh, it's basically a test uh, to test us how much we have already learned the previous material, like the materials we have learned in the previous week. Uh, and as for the writing session, uh, it's just some testing about a problem that the professor have already given us. So basically just recite and memorize those uh, solutions, but we are not provided with those uh, answers. So I highly recommend you guys to prepare for that before taking uh, either a quiz or a writing session. And we have two midterms in total. Um, 
because of the coronavirus situation, I just took one in-person uh, exam and the second one is canceled for this semester. And as for the final, probably because they think it will be better to guarantee the academic integrity, so they just opted out the final exam. If you find that you are satisfied with your current grade, you do not have to take the final. Uh, the next class I took is a Gen Nat requirement for my college, Dietrich College of Humanities and Social Sciences. The class code is 66110. The name of the class is DC Grand Challenge in Inequality. As for the description, we are going to study the inequality topic from four perspectives. Economic, culture, history, and psychology. Uh, there will be four professors teaching only this one class and another one TA to help them. Um, I think the workload is pretty low. Uh, we just need to hand in one assessment per topic, so in total four, and one reflection at the very end as a final. Uh, as for the difficulty, I will rate it two out of five. Moving on to my information system class. It's an introductory information system class and I really like it because um, I think it will give us a brief overview of what information system is really like. The class code is seven, uh, 67250 and name is the information systems Melix. The description is what is information systems, coding using HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, and some ethical problems and teamwork in the industry. Uh, well, we have to write some like case studies. Uh, as for me, we are required to write about 3,000 words of analysis of the Apple Watch industry and how uh, information system is incorporated into it. So you definitely need to write a lot in this specific project. And there are also some technical projects like database project, uh, web development project, uh, and a term project. So I think um, this class definitely needs you to find a collaborative partner and to discuss something um, that can be really creative. And also there are two midterms, uh, like two exams included the final. Uh, they are not accumulative, so you do not have a huge amount of pressure during final. And I think the exams is not that difficult. Um, the last class, the last semester long class I took is 76101, first writing, uh, first year writing. So every freshman student are required to take this class. And it's also a prerequisite class for a lot of other uh, English class or some uh, business class because you have to prove that you have skills in writing like academic essays. The description is uh, that uh, we have to read some materials in public intellectual because the topic is that and we have to wrote three uh, require papers. It's definitely really thought-provoking. Uh, if you can actually choose a topic you like, that will be great. Uh, but probably more people, like a lot of students, will choose it as well. So it's really hard for you to get into one. And the professor is really nice. So if you have any question regarding the, um, like the grammar or the topic or anything related to English or life in general, he's really welcome to uh, talk about that with you. And the difficulty, I will give it 3 out of 5. And the last class I took is student talk class, how to build your personal website. As for a description, it's about learning some coding skills on HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So there's a huge overlap between this class and part of my IS class. So it helped me a lot when I uh, took the IS class because I took this one first. And those coding skills are really important. And it's also an uh, advantage for students to build their own personal website and interactive like portfolio so that HR can, saw, or can see it. So I highly recommend you to take it if you have a chance. So that's pretty much it. But if you have uh, or looking for any other information, feel free to subscribe uh, and write in a comment down below. 
uh, or you can always reach out to our social media channel on Instagram. It's also called iSchool Connect. Um, if you like this video, please go give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to watch more such video, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, until next time, and this is Rebecca signing off. Take care and bye.